What's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another review for you guys. So Nike and Stussy have combined yet again to give us a very clean pair of Air Force Ones. This time, however, they have chosen the Air Force One Mid. I will be reviewing the Nike and Stussy Air Force One Mid in the Fossil colorway. So what is good guys and welcome back to all of my long-term viewers and if you are new here my name is Josh and I do sneaker reviews and all types of other sneaker content if that is something you're looking for make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm dropping at least three videos a week and for even more content check out my podcast available on Apple Music and Spotify and give me a follow on Instagram as well dropping a ton of content on there too so let's get into it I will be covering the Stussy Air Force One mid in this fossil colorway I'll get into the quality of these materials and how these fit on feet they do actually fit quite different than other Air Force Ones. I'll give you some on-feet looks and I'll tell you whether or not these are worth the price. So this colorway, the Fossil colorway, was an exclusive to Stussy. It didn't drop anywhere else. However, there were two other colorways that did drop on Nike and other retailers, including this black and white or Panda colorway. And then we also had this black colorway, which featured a white midsole. I think it's safe to say, however, this Fossil colorway was the most coveted of the three, and it is a follow-up to the Air Force One Lowe's, which dropped back in 2020. Stussy and Nike have just been giving us hit after hit, going all the way back to the Dunk Lowe's. And in more recent years, we also had this amazing Air Spiridon 2. They also happen to be my favorite brand, period. I was just in Madrid a couple of days ago, walked into the Stussy Madrid store, Store and yeah let's just say my pockets were a lot lighter when I left the store however while I was in there I did see all three of the colorways sitting in the store which is pretty surprising to me especially when considering how popular those lows were maybe because it is an Air Force One mid not the most popular silhouette but they're pretty nice shoes and probably shouldn't be sitting but let's just get into the shoes starting off with the box we've seen the same box now on several Stussy and Nike collabs it's basically a cream box with the red Nike logo we also get the Stussy logo there at the back of the box done in red and moving on to the shoes themselves so the entire upper of this fossil colorway is made out of this hemp material which is quite a thick and rough material and to be 100% honest not my favorite material because I've had trouble in the past trying to get these clean in fact I recently sold my personal pair of the Air Spiridon 2 simply because I couldn't figure out what's the best way to clean that shoe I'm not a sneaker cleaning expert by any means so if one of you guys out there know what is the best way to keep these shoes clean leave a message in the comment and help out your fellow sneakerheads. this shoe if you look at it you know from a distance it looks like a pretty muted all over beige this nice tonal colorway shoe but looking at it up close there's quite a few details on this pair that make it quite interesting starting off with the swoosh i love the swoosh on here it is stitched into the shoe not something we usually see on air force ones you also see more of that stitching on the back tab also on the back you get this really nice i guess pendant which has the double s stussy logo and you also see that same logo very subtly stitched into the toe box as well and finally you get a bit more stussy branding first on the tongue of the sneaker and then also you see it along the ankle strap let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about this model the air force one mid that does come with that ankle strap are you guys fans of it i've personally never owned a pair of air force one mids it is quite a bulky looking shoe however i think stussy did a pretty good job here let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the air force one mid the inner lining of the shoe is actually done in this mesh material this time which is quite different than the air force one lows those actually feature some nice premium soft leather i'm not sure why we didn't also get that on the mid but the good news is however this time you do get an extra pair of laces the sneaker does come standard in these fossil laces but you also get a nice white pair of laces which probably will end up looking better on the shoe gives you a nice contrast if I remember correctly the lows only came with the white laces you didn't actually get fossil laces so this time you do get two options let's talk about sizing so for me normally on Air Force One lows and I think most people can agree here the shoes do fit quite big and I normally always go a half size down than my true size I normally wear a size 11 I am a 10 and a half 
and Air Force Ones. But this pair, however, because it is made out of that hemp material, which is quite thick, I actually do not suggest going a half size down. In fact, I think you should be going true to size in this pair. I ordered my pair at a half size down, completely forgetting that this hemp material was quite thick and it does fit very tight on me. I definitely would have loved to go a half size up. So don't make that mistake if you guys are buying this on the resale market, make sure you buy it and your true size. And speaking of that, let's have a look at what these are actually going for right now on the resale market. The sneakers are sold out on the Stussy website. However, you can get them for a very affordable price right now on StockX with most sizes going for just around 30 to 40 bucks over retail, which in my opinion is an absolute steal, especially if you are a huge fan of the Air Force One Lows, which did drop two years ago. And look at those prices right now. They're pretty much triple what they're going for in the mid top version. And while yes, you can make the argument that the lows are a better looking shoe than the mids, I definitely don't think it's worth the difference in price. If you are in the market for a pair of Stussy Air Force Ones, I would definitely rather right now go with this mid top version. You're getting it for under 200, which is a pretty good deal. So overall, the Stussy Air Force One mid in the fossil colorway, are these a cop or a drop? I think it's a colorway that's pretty much timeless. You can get a lot of use out of this shoe in the summer and spring months. And for the prices they're going for right now, this is a pretty great pair of shoes. So I would definitely would say these are a cop. Hope you guys found that video useful. Once again, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Psych. So guys, I've been thinking the last few days, I want to do something a little bit different in my videos going forward. I was looking at my analytics the other day and noticed that only about 20 to 30% of you guys actually stick through the entire video until the end. You guys are obviously the biggest supporters of this channel. So I wanted to do something a little special for you guys. So going forward, I'm going to try to do this at the end of every video. I'm going to have a special little section where we just kind of talk about stuff, you know, whether it be some major sneaker or streetwear topic right now, you guys also send me so many questions on Instagram and in the comments. So maybe I'll use this part of the video to answer some of those or just generally talk about some interesting topics of the moment right now. And I'm going to be calling this part of the video, the group chat, because who doesn't love a good group chat? That's literally one of the best parts about life. So topic for today's group chat. So lately in the last few weeks, I've been doing a lot of traveling. I visited Amsterdam, Madrid, and also Lisbon. And whenever I go to a lot of different cities, of course, you know, I like to check out, you know, what's the streetwear scene like, what kind of sneaker stores are in that city. And pretty much every single time I come back a little disappointed because I'm not sure if I've seen too many cities that really compare to the one I live in, which is Berlin. You know, I lied, maybe Paris, actually Paris probably compares quite well, might even be a bit better. But for me, when I first moved to Berlin about five years ago from Canada, I wasn't really even into sneakers all that much. I mean, I kind of like, you know, had a bit of shoes here and there, but it wasn't until I got here that my love for sneakers kind of really went into overdrive. So I wanted to know three things from you guys. First of all, what city are you guys from? Second, what is the sneaker culture like in that city? And finally, how much of that is what drives your personal love for sneakers? I would love to know that. Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, thanks for sticking around for the group chat. Let me know if you guys kind of like this format. I've been getting kind of bored doing the same video all the time, and this is just a bit more fun. So I'm going to keep doing this at least for the time being. We'll see how it goes. Let me know, of course, either on the comments or on Instagram, any other topics you'd like to discuss. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.